Hello everyone, today we're going to evaluate the probability that Italy is going to invade San Marino. Of course, we shall start from the null hypothesis that Italy is not going to invade San Marino, while the alternative hypothesis will be that Italy is going to invade San Marino. Okay, our prior, before observing any evidence that Italy is not going to invade San Marino, is very high, let's say 90%. So the probability of the alternative hypothesis that Italy is going to invade um, is just 10%. Okay, let's say that on the 25th of September this year, uh, a new piece uh, of evidence, uh, some new intelligence comes in. Uh, for example, the fact that San Marino requires visa to EU citizens. Of course, we must consider this kind of information diagnostic for the problem at hand. Otherwise, we wouldn't even list it here. So now, what is the probability to observe this piece of evidence in case of uh, in case that Italy is not going to invade San Marino? Well, I would say, for example, that it's not high, the 30%. While in case Italy were actually going to invade it, I think it would be higher, probably 90%. And as you can see, the two posteriors are uh, calculated automatically. And now, after observing this evidence, the probability of war, of invasion, is slightly higher than before. Okay, on the 27th, we have some new information. Italy uh, has deployed uh, troops to the province of Rimini, um, and um, a town which is very close to, to San Marino. The probability that this happens in case of no invasion, I think, is rather low. But this is, of course, my subjective valuation. And instead, in case of um, invasion, is is very high. Let's say the eighty percent. Um, so today is the twenty ninth, and the new posteriors. That is the probability that Italy is not going to invade San Marino has changed, has diminished. Why, after observing this evidence, the probability that Italy uh, will actually invade San Marino has increased. And, and, of course, the chart has changed accordingly.